The Polar Switch was designed specifically to leverage a single pair of existing Cat3 voice uh, infrastructure delivering Ethernet. Now we're going to deliver 10 megs symmetrical Ethernet with power with over 1200 feet reach. The key elements of the design is robust power, simple to deploy, configure and manage without burdening customers and partners with unnecessary network complexity or uh, dependencies. And we'll talk a little bit more about that shortly. The Adtran NetVanta 1535P was designed to provide flexibility, providing 10 meg symmetrical over a single pair of Cat3 voice infrastructure at those extended distances, as well as up to a gigabit over a standard Cat5 or Cat6 cable, plus uh, with a traditional uh, data switch reach, of course, of 300 feet, as we're accustomed to. Um, so what's happening here is, is really uh, you have to look at what we're, we're trying to solve. We're, we're looking at deploying an IP uh, phone solution. Uh, Adtran is saying that you know in the future when your uh, infrastructure is up to, up to snuff, so to speak, uh, you do have that Cat5 infrastructure su support uh, that you can then just uh, discard their uh, adapters, their media converters they call them, and you can just plug the cable directly into their switches. You can see in the front of the, the switch all has uh, RJ45 cables, uh, uh, connectors on them. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, in the next three to five years, we don't know what type of bandwidth we're going to require at our desktop. Five years ago, 100 megs was enough for desktop computing. Um, in the next five years, it may be two gigabits, it may be five, it may be ten. And if you're investing in this type of topology now with the intention of using it in the future to support your data networking requirements, it just may be too late. By the time you're ready to move to, gig to, to this, you may need five gigabits to the desktop. So keep that in mind. Again, we talked about making a sound business decision today that's going to last the lifetime of your communications infrastructure, but we also want to make sure that we have the flexibility to allocate budget on our network when and if it makes sense to the business. And that's important. Uh, let's look at the switch design, okay? Uh, we talk about simplicity. We have a 48 port switch, so we're going to talk uh, about uh, having a requirement for 48 users. That's very simple. So the polar switch is designed and we focused to ensure it's a simple to install, simple to configure, and simple to manage solution that's significantly less expensive. The Polar family comes in a 24 port, a 48 port, and we're going to be releasing an 8 port model in the summer of 2013. On the AdTran NetVanta 1535P design, it's much more complex, resulting in only supporting 24 users per switch. To get the same capabilities, you'd need two 24-port switches for 48 users. So right away, we're talking about more money, more space, and more power consumption as well. Now, Fibridge is the world leader in two-wire network infrastructure. We've got thousands of customers using our technology to deliver voice over IP, power, and Ethernet to IP phones all over the world. When we looked at designing the new Polar Switch, we went to our customers, we went to our partners, and we went to the industry experts worldwide, and we asked them their opinions on what was most compelling, and we've designed this solution with all of that in mind. We took the best of what we had in the market with our existing product, and we made it that much better with the Polar, as you'll see as we move forward. So let's look at the media converter. At the phone end, you require a media converter that takes your single pair RJ11 and it delivers an RJ45 on the other side that will plug into your IP phone or your IP device. This will provide power and Ethernet to the device plugged into it. So on the Polar Switch media converter, we call this the PhiLink adapter. As you can see, it's an elegant design that is the size of about a USB key. It's three times smaller than the AdTran um, uh, media converter. Um, and there's some really interesting capabilities that we have here that we're going to go through as well. On the AdTran side, it's called the Active Reach Media Converter. The Active Reach Media Converter, of course, is much larger. And it also has a manual switch on the front that allows uh, the, the converter to, to turn the power over Ethernet capabilities on or off. So if you think about that, if you're deploying thousands of these in, a, in an office environment, or even hundreds, 
there's always the, the unfortunate capability that someone may inadvertently flip those switches or flip the switch and it could result in additional support calls. Uh, because as we know, end users sometimes, they'll, they'll look at this device and they'll wonder what that little switch is um, and they may turn the phones or devices off inadvertently. So that's something to keep in mind. A design capability that uh, we thought about ourselves and we, we thought this was a better solution. So let's look at the, um, the physical um, capabilities. So we've got on the Fibridge Phi-Link adapter, it's about one inch by two and a half inches by uh, three quarters of an inch. It's drawing less than one watt of power. The price is about $91. And on the regulatory side, it is a class B device. And I'll explain that in a moment. On the AdTran media converter for the AdTran NetVanta 1535P, um, the adapter is 2.1 inches by 3.6 inches by 1.2 inches. It draws 1.8 watts of power, almost twice as much as the Phi-Link adapter, and it's about $94, $95. But most importantly, I think, is it's a Class A device. Now, some of you may be wondering what that means. Well, a Class A device it has a higher probability that it may interfere with other electronics in the vicinity. So we don't normally like to see Class A devices deployed at end-user locations given all of the different equipment that may be connected there, but most importantly, it may interfere with physical um, uh, equipment as well, such as hearing aids or pacemakers. So it's, 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 it's very, very, um, you gotta be careful when you place these things, and, and that's why we focused very, very closely on ensuring that we had a Class B at the endpoint, as our other products do as well.